The accused Fort Hood shooter's lawyers chalked up two more wins today in court. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gordon Collier. Julie Hayes has the night off. The judge granted funding for more experts for Major Nadal Hassan. Rachel Cox has a look at some of those people who could testify during the trial. Hassan's lawyers added two new members to their team today when the judge granted funding for experts on social science methodology and religious conversion. So far, the judge has also granted them money for a neurologist and experts on defense mitigation and jury selection. You know, as a former defense counsel, I can tell you, uh, I mean, you have an absolute obligation to your client uh, and it, you must be completely objective in viewing the facts. Uh, but but biased towards your client to do everything within the power of the law to, to help them. The government also has their own expert. They're hoping to call terrorism expert Evan Coleman to testify during the trial. Welcome to another episode of Terror Watch. A foundation that focuses on preventing terrorist attacks called NIFA lists Coleman as a senior investigator on their website. Prosecutors in the Hassan trial say he's been an expert witness in over 20 trials. The judge will hear arguments next week about Coleman. They may attempt to, to demonstrate how Major Hassan's acts have influenced the world and potentially uh, terrorism in general. But it was this possible witness that prompted Hassan's lawyers to request their own to challenge Coleman's techniques. Defense is entitled uh, under the Constitution and under the UCMJ to, to a fair trial and to equal access to witnesses. So for that, the judge granted them that, that motion. A move Hassan's lawyers say is necessary to provide a fair trial for the accused Fort Hood shooter. Rachel Cox, KWTX News 10.